good evening good evening hi hello 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 hi, hi. how are you today i'm great you're great yeah <laughs> okay how about the rain oh it's very very strong strong it's a very strong uh, storm yeah <laughs> okay okay me voy a soltar el pelo porque tengo como mojado sí, ¿no? oh. Nunca se me va a secar del sudor. <risa> es que está haciendo lluvia, pero también está lloviendo. Sí. Está haciendo calor, ¿verdad? Como, sí. gran, como, como, ¿cómo se llama eso? Como el vapor que decimos. Sí, como... <risa> The vapor. The vapor. Sí. Y no vapor. It's not vapor. It's vapor. <risa> <Sí>. <risa> Nada que ver en inglés, ¿verdad? <risa> Ana María was Ay, connected no. and now I don't see her. Maybe she disconnected because of the rain. Estos lentes ya están bien. Bien chuco. No los he lavado. Bueno. <risa> Let's see. Okay, we'll begin in the end of the course. This will be like okay. um, only four classes left to finish the course. So remember, we have to uh, get the, num uh, the number, the session number five completed by Wednesday. We don't have, yeah, we don't I have till Thursday because we, uh, we have vacations next week at, 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 at the Inglés Corporativo. <laughs> I don't know you, but I will be uh, on vacations on the third, August 3rd. El 3 de agosto salgo. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Sí, pero bueno. Uh, me on Friday. Me on Friday. Friday. Yeah, this is the last day. Ah, yeah. Ah, ay, no, lo que pasa es que, bueno, la empresa privada es diferente. Do you work for the government? No, I working on the school. Ah, um, that is why. Yeah. You work in a school. Okay. Yeah. I have people that is working there also. Pero la mm -hmm. mayoría están este viernes. Ah, ya volvió Ana María. Connecting to sí. audio. Y está dice, fuerte. Ana María, está fuerte la tormenta. Sí. Híjole. Bueno. Tremendo. Let me see the contents. Because I don't see them. ¿Dónde está esto? Sí, tengo internet. Yo estaba capeando, dije, ay, no, y no, otra vez no le voy a dar. Uh, I always love the United States um, anthem, anthem, anthem. You know what is anthem? No. El himno. Oh. Ah? No, nothing. I, I, I say, mm. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't listen. What did you say? Anthem. Mm -hmm. Anthem. Es A-N-T-H-E-M. Anthem. Anthem. Es el himno. Ah. Uh -huh. Ah, yeah, okay. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Es el himno. A mí siempre me gustó el himno de los Estados Unidos. Yeah, it's very easy. 
it's very easy to learn, yeah. Es más complicado el de nosotros, pero el de nosotros es más bonito, de hecho. El de nosotros sí. es el número tres del mundo. Sí. Uh -huh. El de ellos no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me see. Job hunting, we did that. Okay, let me share the screen. Oh, Rosio, you're here. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Hi. Is it good evening? Is it raining on your house? Yes. A lot. Yeah, I can hear the, the water. Hasta aquí, este, hasta aquí oigo la lluvia. <laughs> sí, así se escucha en mi champa. <laughs> okay, so let me see. Are you seeing my screen? Yes. Yes, Yes. Okay. Okay. So let's begin. Um, we are only. Let me see. Only three. Okay. Perfect. No problem. Okay. Lesson objective uh, point uh, five point nine. At the end of this class, participants will learn adjectives for describing personality traits. Al final de esta clase, los participantes aprenderán adjetivos para describir características de personalidad. Siguiente. ¿Qué te dice esta mujercita hoy? Hello. Which of these adjectives are positive? Which are negative? Listen, repeat, and decide. Listen and repeat. Bad tempered, creative, critical, disorganized, disorganized, efficient, efficient, especial, generous, hard working, impatient, level headed, moody, punctual. Reliable, strict. Now get ready to listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. Listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. One. A boss. How do you like your new boss? She's okay. I just wish she'd learn to lighten up a little. What do you mean? Oh, she never enjoys a joke. She never laughs. It's hard to even get a smile out of her. Two, a co-worker. Look what Mary gave me. Isn't this a great book? Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her friends and co-workers presents. I wish there were more people like her in this world. Three, a teacher. What do you think of the new French teacher? Well, she's kind of strange. She's in a good mood one minute and in a terrible mood the next. Four, a relative. Hey, what's wrong? I'm fed up with my brother. It seems as if he's always angry at me about something. Really? Yeah, he gets upset so easily. I don't know what's the matter with him. Okay, let's play it again so we can listen to the audio again. Hello, which of these adjectives are positive? Which are negative? Listen, repeat, and decide. Listen and repeat. Bad-tempered. 
creative, critical, disorganized, efficient, forgetful, generous, hardworking, impatient, level-headed, moody, punctual, reliable, strict. Now get ready to listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. Listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. One, a boss. How do you like your new boss? She's okay. I just wish she'd learn to lighten up a little. What do you mean? Oh, she never enjoys a joke. She never laughs. It's hard to even get a smile out of her. Two, a co-worker. Look what Mary gave me. Isn't this a great book? Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her friends and co-workers presents. I wish there were more people like her in this world. Three, a teacher. What do you think of the new French teacher? Well, she's kind of strange. She's in a good mood one minute and in a terrible mood the next. Four, a relative. Hey, what's wrong? I'm fed up with my brother. It seems as if he's always angry at me about something. Really? Yeah, he gets upset so easily. I don't know what's the matter with him. Okay, listening. Did you catch exactly what what they 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 were talking Bad about? Tempered. Listen. Or do do we have to uh, translate the, the audio? It's okay, teacher. I understand. Okay. Okay. Let's repeat the these words. I know you were repeating, Jenny, but we went, we will have to repeat it together. Okay. These are personality traits. Okay. And you have to tell me which of them are positive or negative uh, qualities. And if you don't know any of the meanings, please tell me. I can I can give you the answer. Bad tempered. Please repeat. Bad tempered. Okay. Creative. 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 <clears throat> Critical. Critical. Disorganized. Disorganized. Efficient. Efficient. Forgetful. 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 Generous. Generous. Hardworking. Hardworking. Hard Impatient. 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 Level headed. Level headed. Moody. Moody. Punctual. Punctual. Reliable. Reliable, strict, strict. Bye. What does it mean by tempered? Angry. <laughs> uh -uh. No. Uh, mal temperamento. Eso, malhumorado. Mm -hmm. Malhumorado. And that is negative or positive? Negative. Okay. Now, what is creative? Um, creativo. Uh -huh. And it's positive or negative? Positive. Okay. Critical? Um, 
Critico, critico. I don't know. Um, what about the rest? What do you think, Mario or Elena, Ana Maria or Rocio? Critical. Critical, critical. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, critical? Mm -hmm. And that is positive or negative? Negative. 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 Okay. Disorganized? Disorganizado. Uh -huh. And that is? It's negative. Negative. Uh -huh. Efficient? Efficient. Efficient. Positive or negative? Positive. Positive, uh huh. Forgetful. Forgetful. Olvidadizo. Olvidadizo. Uh -huh. And what is negative or positive? Negative. 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 Okay. Generous. Generous. Positive or negative? Positive. 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 Mm -hmm. Hard working. Hard working. Mm -hmm. Trabajador. Trabajador. Mm -hmm. oh. And that is positive. Uh, positive. Okay. Impatient. Patient. Paciente. Paciente. Impaciente. Positive or negative? Oh. Negative. negative. Okay. Level headed. Level headed. I don't know, Tisha. I don't know. I don't know. Como le decimos a una persona que, que, que sabe mucho y que está así como que toda la vida solo hablando cosas bien, ¿qué decimos? Sabelo todo. Mm, no, pero. Creído. ¿Qué bueno, es no. level? Nivel. Nivel. Ajá. ¿Y head? Como... Viene de head. Como elevado, entonces. Eso, cabal, ah. elevado. Ah. Elevado. elevado. <laughs> Okay. okay. <laughs> Moody. What is and that is positive or negative? Level headed. Yes, negative. negative. Do you think that? Yeah. Negative. Negative. Elevado. Okay. And Moody? What is Moody? I don't know. <clears throat> Moody es una persona como que le cambia bastante el carácter, como voluble. El mood es como el mood es como la, la forma de andar, ¿verdad? Como que donde le dicen, hoy ando buen mood, así dicen, hoy ando buen mood, que anda en buena onda. ¿verdad? Pero cuando es Moody es que es algo variable, <risa> ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Ok, punctual. Puntual. Puntual. Puntual, ok. Negative or positive? Positive. Ok. Yes. Reliable. Reliable. Realista. No, that is realistic. No. Confiable. Ah. ¿Ah? Confiable. Es uh, reliable oh. y confiable. O también confiable. Eh, cuando dicen trusty. Trusty, esa es otra ah. forma de decir confiable. Reliable mm -hmm. y confiable. Ok, ¿es positive o negative? Positive. Ok, ¿strict? Estricto. Estricto, positive o negative? Negative. Or positive. Independent situation. I yeah, it is easy. Yeah. Vamos a ver las traducciones. Vamos a ver aquí cómo es. A boss, ¿qué, qué cualidad le pusieron? Um, ¿De qué está hablando la, la gente ahí? Del el chico que dijo ahí. ¿Cómo es el, el jefe o la jefa de él? Es serio, serio, no. Mm -hmm. But why is serious? Yeah, because it's the uh, it's no funny. It is a uh, uh, I don't I, I but it she the boss or uh, is a yeah. uh, she's the boss. Mm -hmm. Um, is serious is uh. Not funny, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Number two, how is the co-worker? Generous. Generous. The best drives each person. One, a boss. How do you like your new boss? ¿Cómo, ¿Qué es lo que piensas de tu nuevo? Sí. ¿O cómo te, te parece tu nuevo jefe? She's okay. Yeah, yeah, está bien. I just wish she'd learn to lighten up a little. Eh, me gustaría que aprendiera a hacer un poquito como más, eh, que sea como más viva, pero no viva de inteligente, sino que viva de que fuera como alive. What do you mean? ¿De qué te refieres? Oh, she never enjoys a joke. Ella nunca disfruta una broma. She never laughs. Ella nunca se ríe. It's hard to even get a smile out of her. Es aún difícil sacarle una sonrisa. Two, a coworker. Okay, number two. Look what Mary gave me. Is... Mira lo que Mary me dio. Isn't this a great book? No es un excelente libro. Yeah, it is. Sí, lo es. Mary's so sweet. Mary es bien dulce. She's always giving her friends and co-workers presents. Siempre le está dando regalos a sus eh, compañeros de trabajo. I wish there were more people like her in this world. Me gustaría que hubiera más gente como ella en este mundo. Okay, so number two, what is the answer? Generous. Yes, that is generous. Okay, number three, a teacher. Do you have the answer for teacher? No? I think Moody. Moody, okay. Let's see if that's the answer. Three, a teacher. What do you think of the new French teacher? ¿Qué pensás de el nuevo, el nuevo profesor de francés? Well, she's kind of strange. Bueno, ella es un poquito extraña. She's in a good mood one minute. Ella está de un carácter en un minuto. And in a terrible mood the next. Y de un carácter terrible al siguiente. Four. Okay, so that is moody, right? I told you, moody is like changeable. It's changing a lot from, se está riendo de repente se pone bien enojado. Do you have a, a, an answer for number four? What do you think is number four? About temperate. Okay, let's see. Okay. Hey, what's wrong? I'm hey, ¿qué pasa? Fed up with my brother. Estoy enojada con mi hermano. It seems as if he's always angry at me about something. Parece que siempre está enojado conmigo por algo. Really? De verdad? Yeah. He sí. gets upset so easily. Él se enoja tan fácilmente. I don't know what's the matter with him. Yo no sé qué le pasa a él. Okay, yeah, it was correct. It is bad temper. Okay, everything is clear for you or do you have questions? It's clear. It's clear. Yeah. But, okay. Yeah. Let's go and continue. Number four, uh, 5.11, lesson objective. By the end of this session, you will learn and understand clauses with because. Al final de esta sesión, aprenderán y comprenderán cláusulas con because. What is because? 
Porque. Porque, exacto. Es lo que contesta guay, ¿verdad? Ok, let me see the video. Hi, are you ready to introduce a cause or a reason? Stay with us and see how the word because is used. Clauses with because. The word because introduces a cause or reason. I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. Ready to listen to the explanation of the use of because? Because it's a conjunction that can connect two independent clauses in one sentence. Let's point out that the clause starting with because can come either before or after the main clause. It is okay to say, because I'm good at writing, I would make a good journalist, or I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. Now pay attention on the use of a comma in the first example. No comma is used, however, when because is in the middle of a sentence. Don't forget the word because answers the question why. Follow the example so you may work on your own. I couldn't be a singer because I have a funny voice. I would be a good teacher because I'm patient. Now tell us why or why not you would or could be a good president, an actor or an actress. Please share your responses on our discussion box. Okay, let me play it again. So, or is it clear for you? You want me to play it again or is clear? No, please again. Okay. Hi, are you ready to introduce a cause or a reason? Stay with us and see how the word because is used. Clauses with because. The word because introduces a cause or reason. I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. Ready to listen to the explanation of the use of because? Because it's a conjunction that can connect two independent clauses in one sentence. Let's point out that the clause starting with because can come either before or after the main clause. It is okay to say, because I'm good at writing, I would make a good journalist or and make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. Now pay attention on the use of a comma in the first example. No comma is used, however, when because is in the middle of a sentence. Don't forget the word because answers the question why. Follow the example so you may work on your own. I couldn't be a singer because I have a funny voice. I would be a good teacher because I'm patient. Now tell us why or why not you would or could be a good president, an actor or an actress. Please share your responses on our discussion box and see how okay. the word clauses would be Let's explain these clauses with because. Remember, clauses is clausulas. 
become because. The word because introduces a cause or a reason. La palabra because eh, presenta una causa o una razón. I make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. Yo sería, remember I is I would, conditional. So I would make is yo haría o sería. Agrega el would, agrega ia, casi siempre al verbo. Entonces, I would make a good journalist. Yo sería un buen periodista porque yo soy bueno escribiendo. That is number one. That the reason is I'm good at writing. Now, I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. Yo podría ser un buen un profesor porque soy muy creativo. Tenemos la cláusula principal, ¿verdad? Que va antes de because y después va because la cláusula de secundaria, que es la que da la razón de la primera. Es como la explicación de la primera. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. Yo no, sé, yo no desearía ser un profesor porque yo soy muy impaciente. I could never be a stockbroker because I can make decisions quickly. Yo nunca podría ser un corredor de bolsa porque yo no puedo tomar decisiones rápidamente. That is the meaning of that uh, in sentences. So because it's very common in uh, English language because you're always explaining things. Okay, because it is a conjunction, es una conjunción, can connect two independent clauses in one sentence. Puede conectar dos eh, cláusulas o estados independientes en solo una oración, como vimos en la parte de anterior. Eran dos oraciones conectadas. Ahora, let's point out. Se, eh, podemos señalar, ¿verdad? Point out es señalar. Clauses starting with because can come either before or after the main clause. Las cláusulas comenzando con because pueden venir de igual forma. Eso significa either antes o después de la cláusula principal. Por ejemplo, si yo digo because of the weather, I am sick today. Por el clima, yo me siento, yo estoy enferma hoy. ¿verdad? Because of the shutdown yesterday, I wasn't able to connect to my English class. Debido al apagón de anoche, yo no, no fui capaz de conectarme a mi clase de inglés. So that because can be at the beginning or in the middle between the two sentences, between the depending, the reason, the reason that we are giving or the main clause. It is okay to say, we will have an example of this when it's in the beginning or when it's at the, at the, at the, in the middle. The first paragraph is explaining when it's used when we are using in the beginning. Because I'm good at writing, I make a good journalist. If you remember, this is the first uh, sentence that we read in the, in the last slide. But this is the way we can um, interchange the sentences and we can put it and it's the same totally. Because I'm a good at writing, I make a good journalist. Porque yo soy un buen escritor, yo Sería un buen periodista. Esa es la traducción. Or we can say, I make a good journalist because I'm a good writer. I'm good at writing. So it's okay both ways. Let me see the other thing. Solo traducito otra vez. Okay. The example are the examples are. I couldn't be a singer because I have a funny voice. How can you uh, interchange this 
phrase so we can use because in the beginning. Do you know how we can use because in the beginning? Because I couldn't be a singer, I have a funny voice. Oh. No. Because, because I have a funny voice. Uh huh. I couldn't be a singer. Exactly. Because I have a funny voice, I couldn't be a singer. Porque yo tengo una voz eh, divertida. Yo no podría ser un cantante. That is the reason why. Now, uh, can you do the same with the second example? I, we, I would I'd be a good teacher because I'm patient. Can you interchange so we can use the uh, because word in the beginning? Because I'm patient, I'd be a good teacher. Perfect. That is, that is the one. Because I'm patient, I'd be a good teacher. Porque yo soy paciente, yo sería un buen profesor. It's okay. So that is example. So let's move uh, more. Okay. Tell us why or why not would or could be. So we can make an example. Uh, I could be a good president if I were, uh, no, I could be a good president because I'm good at it. Uh, I'm good at speaking in front of crowds, for example. Because I'm good at speaking at the crowds, I could be a good president. That is both ways of the of the use of because. Now the other one is uh, I could I I would uh, I would be an actress because I have learned how to uh, how to play different roles, for example. Yo podría ser una, una actriz porque yo he aprendido a eh, hacer bastantes roles eh, como car car caracteres, ¿verdad? De, de, de reparto. So, can you please give me examples with these two phrases so we can use it in both, eh, in both eh, ways? Okay, let's begin for Elena. Can I have two examples for a good president and an actor, actress? Okay. Mm -hmm. I could be a good president because mm -hmm. I don't like the politics. You, you couldn't be a good president because you don't yes, like I politics. Mm -hmm. Politics, yes, exactly. Okay, mm -hmm. now can you please move interchange the sentences and use the, the other meaning? Because I don't like the politics. I don't like politics without the, because politics because I, in general. Uh -huh. Okay, because I don't like politics. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I couldn't be mm -hmm. a good person. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, now we use an actor, actress. You would be an actress because you're a woman. Mm. I will be an actress mm -hmm. because sometimes I, I'm very, Dramatic. Ah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Okay, now the interchange the, the sentences. Because sometimes I'm very dramatic, I will be an actress. 
Mm -hmm. Because sometimes I'm very dramatic. I could be an actress. That is okay. Okay, let's go to Mario. Thank you, Elena. Nice examples. Mario, can you please uh, make examples for the two sentences? A good president and an actor. Um, I could, I could not mm -hmm. a good president because I could not, I could not what? Uh -huh. The verb is missing there. Oh. I will not be a good president. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Um, because I don't like uh, speak in public. Speaking. Speaking public. In public. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now interchange the sentences. Because I don't like speaking in public. Mm -hmm. I could not a good, I could not be a good president. Perfect. Now we use an actor. Okay. Um, I could not be a good actor or an actor <laughs> because I'm um, shy. shy uh, you're no. shy, okay. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> now uh, do the 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 interchange of the sentences. Because I am shy, I could not be a uh, an actor. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Now okay. let's go with Rocio. Can you please uh, make the examples using the two sentences? Microphone with Rocio is not working as always. Hmm. It is strange. <laughs> okay, Jenny, your turn. I don't listen to you. Your microphone okay. is not activated. Okay, a good president. Okay. Um. Says. I uh, I wouldn't be a good president mm -hmm. because I can make decision quickly. Okay, okay. Um, now, Chris, now interchange the the sentence beginning with okay. us. Okay, because I can. I can make decision quickly. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be a, a good president. Okay, now actor or actress. Okay, I wouldn't be an actress mm -hmm. because I don't like ex speak on public. Oh, it's the same example of Mario. Can you please try <laughs> another one? Ah, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, I will be an actress because I don't like um paint my 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 face. Ah, okay. Okay, I because I don't like paint my face. But I it wouldn't is not be... paint. It is makeup. Oh, makeup my face. Makeup uh, my face. Uh huh. Makeup my face. Uh, face. I wouldn't be an actress. Okay, okay, but you can appear without makeup. That is not necessary. But I don't like it. My my, I know makeup. I know use makeup. You don't use makeup. Okay, no. I love I love makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I love makeup. Okay, okay. Let's continue. Please, yeah, ya terminamos. Ya hicimos esto. Okay, let's move to the other one. Falto yo, teacher. Sí, la estuve llamando. Ah, Ana María. Me, ah. me congelo, teacher. Ah, ok. <laughs> Can you please play a uh, good president? Espérate, mi amor. Un ratito. Un ratito. Sí, ahorita. A good president. Okay. Uh, 
a ver si entendí, teacher, porque ajá, ajá. Es que estuve congelada por momentos. Uh -huh. <laughs> I could be a good president um, because I like to help the persons. Okay, I like to help people. Uh -huh. Ah, people, okay. Mm -hmm. And the interchange, the begin with because. Okay, because I like to help people, uh, mm -hmm. I could be I could be a good president. Yes, that is good. Okay, now uh, do it with the other sentence. It's actress. Okay. I could not be an actor, actress. Uh-huh. Because to be no, because I don't like the cameras. Camera. I don't like cameras, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we use, we use the sentence beginning with because. <laughs> because, uh, because I don't like the cameras, um, I, could, I could not be an actress. Okay, that is okay. I love cameras. <laughs> I love cameras and I love lights and I love makeup. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, perfect. Both examples are correct. Thank you, Ana Maria. Okay, vamos a ver. Vamos a seguir aquí. Oh, now let's check. This is the one that you completed, right, Jenny, right? Jenny. Yes. Okay, and did you have any problem or is everything okay? No, it's okay. Okay, perfect. It's, it's raining again. Mm, I think it will rain the whole night. I think we are beginning to... Creo que ya solo van a hacer now let's check. Y adiós la lección. La terminamos. Creo que sí. Marching. Uy, están bien largos. Eh. Ajá, ya llegó al final. <ríe> no, acabamos los materiales, niños. <ríe> ok, let's. Uh, Mario, Elena, Rocío, and Ana María, have you tried the knowledge check? Or are you just about to complete them? Hi, teacher. Sorry, but. Um, I am working, <laughs> oh, I, okay. but uh, the the knowledge yeah. uh -huh. check, uh, no yet. Uh, for the moment, uh, no, no lo he revisado. Okay, Aún. so let's let's do something. Uh, try to try to make to begin tonight or during the day tomorrow, and just number one or number two. And we can make, um, we can begin to review it tomorrow. So if you have any, any questions or do you have, or if you have some things are not clear for you or, or not, or you're not answering correct, I will be here to uh, explain to you what will be the possi possible reason why you are not solving the exam. So this is the final exam. This is about the whole course, everything that we have reviewed. So let's see. Hmm. I cannot play YouTube because it is, uh, si sale en el Zoom, no lo van a, a bajar porque va a ser contenido, este, contenido ya visto. So let me ask you if you have anything anything that you would like to see these we have three days kids three extra days to see uh, topics that are not included in the in the agenda so if you want to see uh something that it is not included just tell me just tell me if you want to see something that is not easy for you and you want to review it do you have something in mind? Mm -hmm. 
¿no? Hay algo que quisieran ver, o sea, ahorita ya terminamos los contenidos, solo queda el examen. Lo que podemos hacer es que mañana, bueno, hoy no creo que lo vean, sinceramente, no sé, pero mañana durante el día pudieran ver si quieran un ratito, ¿verdad? Para ver si lo pueden contestar o no, y si les surgen dudas, lo vemos mañana. Pero me gustaría saber si ustedes tienen algunas como, como dudas, ¿verdad? De, de, de las, ¿cómo que se llama? De, las, de cualquier tema que ustedes quisieran saber o quisieran revisar. Aprovechando que tenemos estas tres clases que nos faltan, ¿verdad? Para terminar jueves. O si alguna de las que vimos no les quedó clara, la volvemos a ver. Otra vez, ¿verdad? La volvemos a ver explicando más cosas. No sé si tienen dudas o algo que nunca hemos visto, pero quisieran ver y que les gustaría y, y por la, las lecciones no lo han cubierto. What do you think? Could be from any, any, any subject could be from grammar, listening, speaking, pronunciation, anything you want to say. For me, teacher, it's a pronunciation is at the end the letter S, but it's be it's very difficult for me. It's uh but I practice in reading that I, I say and uh, and uh, uh, use that the the words for the N S and repeat and repeat and I, but I know I know it is not say S. <laughs> okay, so uh, that would be like uh, just practice, just practice, and you will make it someday, someday. But you you will be improving in that way. Practicing and practicing and practicing, and the rest. What about the rest? What do you What do you What do you consider is not easy for you, or do you want to see more? O tal vez quieran decir, mire, fíjese que teacher que yo siempre quise saber qué dice aquí, y pongamos el texto, verdad, y digamos esto no lo he visto, verdad. Me gustaría saber qué están haciendo aquí o qué están platicando. You For me, uh -huh. I think sometimes it's the the listening. The listening. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. It sometimes it's very difficult for me to try to understand what the people say. I mean, I understand like the basic, but basic. sometimes the basic. But mm -hmm. sometimes they use like word, words that. Are very complicated, so I think this is this part is when is okay ah, listening. Donde necesito sí, el listening, el listening es como bien eh, es difícil, pero los párrafos que hemos estado leyendo en las lecciones no son tan difíciles, son así como que a medida van avanzando, ¿verdad? Van haciéndolos. Van oyendo. But uh, if you have something you want to... Si tiene un audio. Si tiene un audio que, que, que pueda... Este, que podamos ver, ¿verdad? Entre todos y quisiera saber qué es lo que dicen. Just to, to see. Because I cannot play any YouTube video here. Eh, porque me lo van a sancionar el video. Cuando yo lo quiera subir, que la clase está completada, YouTube me va a decir que tiene copyright y no voy a poder subirlo. Entonces, y todo el video no lo puedo cortar, solo esa parte. No puedo cortar la, la parte final porque no, no lo permite la plataforma. Es YouTube el que nos complica la vida. I have a... <coughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. I have a little suggestion. <laughs> okay. Um, for listening, yesterday I found a podcast in in Spotify. Very uh -huh. interesting. 
very interesting. Um, mm -hmm. In the uh, WhatsApp group, uh -huh. I I will uh, share the link. Uh, mm -hmm. and maybe it can help us. <laughs> okay, so maybe you can share that with us uh, through the microphone, and we can guess what are they saying and to 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 practice listening um yeah okay <clears throat> let me a second okay let's put attention and see uh, how is the audio and how is the what is the what are they talking about is it's an English lesson or is something different? Is a podcast is specifically to practice listening. Okay, um, it's for practice listening. Yeah. Okay. Um, como comparto el audio. <laughs> Pon, eh, dele play y, y póngalo. Si usted está con audífonos, ahí mismo se va a oír de su computadora. Así estoy yo. O sea, nosotros nos oímos porque yo tengo los audífonos aquí puestos. Oh, bueno, vamos a probar. Uh -huh. Sí, está cayendo a mares. A ver cómo no va. I was I was watching the news, Tele2. Oh my god. Y el la 49 49th Avenue, 49th Avenue, it is totally eh dive the dive the way eh, covered with with flu, water fluid. ¿Saben qué es water fluid? Yes. Ah, uh -huh. está no. Water fluid es como, eh, espérenme, water, agua, y el fluid es como, como que está con el gran charco de agua, pues que está inundada, esa es la palabra, inundada. Water fluid es que está inundada. Y cuando dice dived away, dived es D, I, B pequeña, E, D, away, es que está, eh, se ahogó. Por ejemplo, the ship dived away, the Titanic ship dived away with all of the crew on board. Crew es la tripulación, ¿verdad? Eso se ocupa en aerolínea, pero crew es crew en, en cualquier medio de transporte, ¿verdad? cualquier tripulación. Entonces, el, el, también se ocupa sank. Sink, sank, sank. Sink, sank, sunk, perdón, sink, sank, sunk. Sink es, 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 es sumergirse. The kill, no. The swimmer, the swimmer, eh, sank into the pool to begin the competition. Usted se ha fijado, ¿verdad? Que a veces se tiran primero para para empezar a nadar, ¿verdad? No todos saltan desde, el, desde la gradita, sino que se meten, creo que mariposa es así o algo así. No me acuerdo cuál es el que empieza, ah, el, el torso, porque se hacen para atrás, ¿verdad? Y hacen así, ¿verdad? Y de ahí se tiran para atrás. Are you playing the audio, Mario? Yes, but eh, creo que no lo escucharon. No, it's not. <coughs> Are you with headsets? Are you from yes. your phone? Yeah, no, uh, in my computer. In your computer. Okay, yeah. try to disconnect the speaker and maybe the el speaker de la compu que, le, que lo oiga y ahí que nos lo, que nos lo ponga. Ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Tal vez así. So first, let's talk about the format of this podcast. 
this podcast. Yeah, so we air on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. At least that's how I plan to air the podcast right now. But most likely it will be three days a week. So you should have plenty of podcasts to use to practice your listening. And each podcast will be about 25 minutes in length. Some of them might be shorter and some of them might be longer, but <clears throat> in general, each podcast will be somewhere around 25 minutes long. So you have a pretty long podcast and a lot of material to practice your listening. So in each podcast, I'm planning on talking about two or three different topics each time. For example, maybe today I want to talk about travel and food, or maybe tomorrow I want to talk about cars or other everyday routine topics. Really, I'm going to talk about everything. So hopefully the topics will be interesting for you and they'll be new each time and it will be a good resource for you overall. I'm gonna be speaking very clearly, as clear as I can. Um, you can hear an example of that with this intro podcast. I'm speaking pretty clearly, right? My voice is relatively easy to understand, uh, easier than most native speakers. And so I'm gonna be speaking pretty clearly, and I'll be speaking just a little bit more slowly than I would normally speak with other Americans or other native speakers. So I'm not speaking really slowly. I'm not speaking at a really unnatural pace, but I'm speaking just a little bit more slowly and a little more clearly than the average American. So with each podcast, you'll also have access to the transcript. So the transcript will help you understand all the words and phrases you missed the first time around. Maybe if you listen to me right now, you can understand. Sorry, le puse pausa porque dura como como media hora <ríe> o 25 minutos. Son las 20.59, eh, sí, acabar. Es cierto, un minuto falta, pero está interesante. Sí, está, está interesante. muy interesante. Se eh, lo compartí en el grupo para... Thank pues, que... you. Maybe we can play tomorrow. Me acuerdo que una vez, no sé si aquí fue, les puse que repitieran de los 100 verbos. Creo que fue el grupo que tuve el mes pasado. Y, y no dijeron nada en el YouTube. <ríe> Pero esa es la indicación que nosotros hemos recibido de la parte de la administración de acá. Uh -huh. este, porque si no, no nos suben el video y sancionan el canal. O sea, no solo va a ser mi clase, sino que me voy a pasear en todas las clases, todos los cursos. Uh -huh. Y eso, eso sí sería, no podríamos hacerlo. Eh, revisaron el, el contenido que les puse de que lean a la par que les van hablando. ¿Qué les pareció? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yes, I, I, what? En la de Sherlock Holmes. Yes. Esa creo que estaba más interesante que la otra. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. sí, este, bastante. Así es la cosa, este, para que vayan aprendiendo a ver cómo se oye, cómo se pronuncia y que vayan viendo, ah, así se dice. Y ya en la historia se interesan, porque ya saben, ah, entonces ya cuando la vuelven a oír otra vez, ya saben qué es, porque ya la oyeron una vez. But, is, uh -huh. but when you are listening in English and reading in English, it's different. You learn a lot, más que cuando les traducen. Porque el traducido yes. es como más easy. En cambio, si ustedes lo ponen en inglés de un solo, ya les queda grabado en inglés. 
mientras que cuando lo traducen al español les queda grabado el, el significado en español y ahí no, no avanzan mucho. O sea, sí, a veces sí, ¿verdad? Pero a veces es mejor traducirlo al inglés de un solo. Ok, kids, we are beginning. Puchica, un montón de gente me está diciendo que no pueden irse a la clase de las nueve porque está lloviendo horrible en su casa o se les fue la luz. Ok. Well, kids, see you tomorrow. Okay. And please make the knowledge okay. check. Thank you. Hagan el knowledge okay. check. No tengan dudas mañana, ok? Bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Okay.